Yeah, so I had been setting 56 up. I had I had watched on film that last week against Washington. He was he was susceptible to the spin because he had leaned forward so much. So um, getting that extra film study in was nice. So I was a, I had beat him with him a couple of times like beforehand, but he had just the quarterback had gotten the ball out uh, earlier or really quickly. So um, it was just about like trying to trying to make sure I could set my moves up all to be in the fourth quarter and then just throw my fastball. So you say anything, guys, is a, to the defensive line this week while he's here? Yeah, I said uh, lots of inspirational stuff. Talked about his why, um, you know, like how to handle different kinds of adversity, about how much he had been a changed man, and uh, it was it was really good to hear. He's a he's a great man and a great leader, and um, I wish he would do inspirational talks more. I wish he'd come out more. Where'd your uh, where'd your celebration after the sacks come from? Are you, are you a LeBron guy? Hell, or what? hell yeah, man! I'm a I'm a big LeBron fan. Uh, you know, I've been watching him since it, since he was with the Cavs, his first thing. Um, but I'm a big NBA fan in general. I'm a, I'm a Thunder fan, but uh, I, I've been watching LeBron James for forever, man. I, 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 it's the cool, coldest thing because it calls it the silencer. So, you know, it'd be, it, it gets the other side shut up. And, you know, on third downs, when I'm getting them off the field, that, that's what I like to do. So. James, the TV broadcast, you looked a little emotional after that final pressure. Kind of what, what sparked those emotions? Yeah, um, just been through so much since I've been here, man. I've only been here since, you know, last – July like very late June and man it's been I've been through hell and back and, you know like I lost family I lost I lost so much and you know to, to be here today in this moment is not where I thought I would be you know you would have told me that a year ago would have never believed you like T night is all I have the D line all I have that's Lee and Nicole Anderson my girlfriend she all I have that's my only family so you know to, to be out there and celebrate such a such a great moment that we brought upon ourselves like it was so emotional and, um, I hope we get to do it more what's coach Knight kind of mean to you Man, he everything to me. He he taught me so much about life. When you know my 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 family fell apart, he was there. He picked me up. He he put me back together. I was a shattered shattered human being at the end of last year. That was why that was one of the reasons I decided to redshirt and not play against Wisconsin and Iowa last year. But you know he there were so many times that everybody else around here like could have gotten rid of me. You know I was I was a mess up. I was I was late to stuff. All that kind of stuff. And he vouched for me. He put me out there. He was the reason I played last year. You know, he, he, he vouched for me. He's taught me so much about life, man. Like, he's, he's like, he really, I, I say father figure, he's really my father. Like, he, I, I learned so much about, something from life about him, and, man, he helped me through everything. Like, that, that man means everything to me. How is it to know that during these big results that you're making a big impact, too, and, and you're getting your name to number ball? Oh, that's, that's nothing. I, I knew that was coming, but, um, uh, you know, I knew, I knew my time to ball was coming. I just had to wait. I didn't think it'd be this week because you know the scouting report said they just like to they like to run the ball. But um, shout out to 15 on the other side of the ball, got us a lead, and then they had to play catch up throwing the ball, and that's when I knew I could eat them alive. So, what did you guys kind of gain confidence wise from the, the goal line stop, and then you had the other one where you guys had back to back sacks and, and moved it back? But I mean, what did that kind of do for the defense? Man, that was everything because I felt like the energy was starting to get a little low. Um, you know, we weren't we. You know, we uh, we weren't scoring or whatever, and then that block punt happens, and it's like, oh no! Like you could you could feel like the the air get sucked out of the stadium, and then you know, for for those guys, like, cause I wasn't even on that, like, the, the the black shirts, man, they came through, and like, it was like it was almost like uh, Illinois last year, uh, but better, cause that was six plays. So yeah, it was no, it was good, and that really like got that really set the tone for the rest of the second half, cause you know that that lull that you get into in the half in the halftime period when you come back out, like. That you need something to like really spark it, and that's what it did for us. Alright, y'all.